Hey y'all, welcome back to Ukulele Wine Time. My name is Catherine. Today we are playing In an Aeroplane Over the Sea. Ukulele Wine Time. Okay, for today's song, we need four chords. So we need a C chord, A minor, F, and G. I'm gonna go over those super, super briefly. If you wanna skip ahead, if you're like, I got these chords, lady. Let's do this. Um, you can skip ahead, but if you'd like a quick review, I will do that now. Here we go. C chord. Uh, we need, so we've got our four fingers here. One, two, three, four fingers. Ukulele, our third, one, two, three, or ring finger is gonna go on the one, two, three, third fret of that bottom string relative to your face. So that's our C chord. Okay, and then next up we've got A minor. So I'm gonna jump all the way. So this is gonna be my second finger or my middle finger to the top string up here, second fret, one, two. Okay, there's my A minor chord. That's what that looks like. Um, next we need A, uh, sorry, F. So we're gonna keep your finger there, keep it frozen there, and put your pointer finger, skip a string on the first fret. So we've got A minor and then F, so that's a nice transition there. And then our last one up, we've got our G chord. There's our G chord. This makes a triangle on the fretboard with the point at the bottom, like that. P sign fingers um, are gonna go, so these are both on the second fret, on the starting on your pointer finger, on the second string down skip a string, and then the last string. So that's your peace sign fingers there. And then your ring finger is gonna come around to make the point of that triangle on the third fret. So there's your G string. So there's our chord review. And the chords are gonna go in that order for all of the song except for the bridge. So I'm gonna show you the verse of this song first, and it's just C, A minor, F, and G. I'm also gonna show you a couple different strumming patterns you can try out. Um, the most challenging being the one that goes with the song, but we can simplify it. So if you're like, I love this song, I wanna play it, I wanna practice this C, A minor, F, G chord progression, which is awesome, um, I'm gonna give you a simpler way to do that and play and still play this song. So, whew, I feel like we need a wine break before we go further. How you doing out there? Okay. Let's start with the verse and check it out. We're just gonna do simple downstrokes on our chords. Um, here we go. So this song is a little bit maybe off the beaten path as it is not in four. So it has a, a six, eight feel or you might feel it in three. So what I mean by that, instead of counting like one, two, three, four as like the majority of, of pop songs, are in four, we are actually gonna count um, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So just take a second, I'm just gonna count that on my C chord, just kind of get acquainted with that feel. It kind of makes you want to sway a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm going to switch chords actually every measure or every of uh, our six counts. So this is what it's going to sound like. One, two, three, one, ready, go. Three, two, three, four, five, six, A minor, two, three, four, five, six, F, two, three, four, five, six, G, two, three, four, five, six, Let's add the words in now. And if you just want to keep it those downstrokes at home, um, cool. I'm just going to do one verse right now. You you play downstrokes. We'll play together. I'm just going to sing the lyrics. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. What a beautiful face I have found in this place that is circling all around the sun. What a beautiful 
dream that could flash on a screen in a blink of an eye and be gone from me. Soft and sweet, let me hold it close and keep it here with me. Okay, how'd you do? If you're following along on the chord sheet that I've linked below, you'll see that when the chord does line up exactly with a word, I've bolded that word. So definitely check that out. That can help kind of anchor your chords, especially for this song that's not in four, it's in a six, eight feel. Okay, so that's strumming pattern number one, just simple downstroke. Let's bump it up a notch. Need a little sip of wine for this next part. Mm -mm -mm. That is delicious. Okay, version number one, just downstrokes. Version number two, we're gonna play um, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're just adding an extra strum in there. So instead of the one, two, three, four, five, six, we're doing one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna slow it down just a little bit. And let's try that together through a whole verse. Here we go. I'm gonna go a little slower. One, two, three, one, ready, go. C, two, three, four, five, six, A minor, two, three, four, five, six, F, two, three, four, five, six, G, two, three. Keep going. gonna add lyrics we'll go to verse two and one day we will die and our ashes will fly from the aeroplane over the sea but for now we are young let us lay in the sun and count every beautiful thing we can How'd you do? Oh, this is such a cool song. Such a cool song. So that is another variation. So we've got downstrokes, then we added another one in there. We bumped it up a little bit. Now we're ready to try out the strumming pattern from the actual song. So our strumming pattern is down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. So we've got a big down and then followed by a down, up, down, up. And that's happening twice per chord. If you lost me there for a second, here's what I mean by that. <clears throat> Two, three, four, five, six. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. I'll keep that going. Let's jump in. We'll, we'll try that with a verse in just a second. We'll get started with our pattern, making sure we're feeling good there or flowing there. And then I'll throw in some lyrics to see how we do. Um, a note on this pattern, it's totally fine if you miss some of the, the last ups. So it doesn't have to be like perfect the whole time. You can kind of be a little bit fluid with that rhythm. Okay, I'll give us a little count off here um, and you'll kind of see what I mean by that. And then I'll throw in the lyrics. Here we go. One, two, three, one, ready, go. Here we 
all right, now we're getting into it. Um, a note too about these strumming patterns, the way we just stacked it now, if you wanna kind of make your own arrangement of this song, the way that you perform it as a cover, that could be a really nice transition. If you don't wanna do that strumming pattern the whole time, you can kind of work up to it. We'll play the song all the way through at the end together. Um, and so maybe we'll try that at the end. All right, now we've reached the bridge. No big deal, it's just the same four chords in a slightly different order. So now we're starting with A minor, going to F, then to C, and then to G. We're gonna jump right in. I'll start with our first basic strumming pattern just to get the feel of the flow of the chords, and then I'm gonna jump into our, uh, our strumming pattern. Okay, here we go. One, starting with A minor. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now how I remember you how I would push my fingers through your mouth to make those muscles move that made your voice so smooth and sweet. Now we keep where we don't know all the secrets sleep in winter cold with one you loved so long ago. Now don't even know it's me. And you keep this going. How'd you do? You did awesome, I know you did. Okay, we're gonna do the whole song. I'm gonna take you through um, all three of our strumming patterns. So I'll do verse one, first strumming pattern, verse two, uh, the second one, and then verse three, I'll go into the more complicated one. We'll hit the bridge, we'll take it out with verse four. One note about the strumming pattern, no matter what song you're playing, it's totally fine to have that strumming pattern in mind, but then kind of make it your own, especially if you're singing it. Um, it's just gonna feel more natural. You're not a robot. I'm not a robot. I don't think I'm a robot. I don't know. Um, probably not a robot. So just keeping that in mind, it doesn't have to be like perfect. And I definitely don't play it with like down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, like the whole time. So I, I am a little bit fluid Again, especially if you're singing the lyrics. So just something to keep in mind. Be gentle with yourself and just have fun with it. Okay, let's see what happens. All right. Do some neck rolls. Let's roll our shoulders back. Nice and relaxed. Ready to do this? <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six. What a beautiful face I have found in this place that is circling all around the sun. What a beautiful dream that could flash on the screen in a blink of an eye and be gone from me. Soft and sweet, let me hold. chords now and one day we will die and our ashes will fly from the aeroplane over the sea but for now we are young let us lay in the sun and count every beautiful thing we can see love to be
Oh, that was an odyssey. How did you do? It's okay if it's not perfect. Mine was not perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. And that's the awesome thing about ukulele, the awesome thing about music, awesome thing about being human. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I hope you enjoyed learning, learning this song with me today. Definitely um, let me know if you've got your own version. I would love, love, love to hear it. Plus, just this song is a great vehicle for really, really solidifying those four chords, amazing chords for the ukulele. Cheers to you. If you loved this video, please cheers the like button below, and I can't wait to see you soon. Ukulele wine time. Hey y'all, okay, this is the part of the video where I Google what wine I'm drinking. Uh, so we've got a really yummy one today. So I sent my husband to the store for organic wines and I was just gonna see what he brought back. So he brought back um, this one called Bonterra um, and then I looked it up and it's actually really cool. So this is um, Sauvignon Blanc. Winemaker's Reserve, Vintage 2020, made with organic grapes. There's a nice little lovely butterfly on the bottle. Um, when I first smelled this, also I want to preface this by saying I'm not any sort of wine expert. I just, I like drinking um, good wine. I like drinking interesting wine. I really know pretty little about wine, um, but ukulele and wine go great together in my opinion. So that's why we're here. Ukulele wine time. Okay. So when I first poured this and I smelled it, it was like a vanilla bumblebee. <laughs> Maybe that's honey, I don't know. And like a little bit of lemon, but lots of vanilla and it was very yummy to smell. And then I really, really enjoyed this wine. Both my husband and I were like, yes, we would totally drink this wine again. Mmm, it's so delicious. It's like smooth and I don't like sweet wines. It's like very smooth and yummy and interesting. Um, and that, I feel like that vanilla stays there. That's as far as my wine adjectives go. Let's hear a little bit about Bonterra. Hey guys, um, they are low sulfite, organic grapes. Ooh, lab tested, that's so fancy. Beyond clean. What does that mean, y'all? Um, they have some cool stuff going on though. They have like regenerative farming, closed loop farming. Oh, they're a B Corp. That's cool. Um, that means they care about the environment and their employees. You have to get all sorts of, um, certifications if you're a B Corp. So that's really awesome. What else? I really want to try some other other wines. Hear that, Bonterra? Um... Carbon, climate neutral wine, what? I don't have to compromise my ideals for purity when it comes to wine or the planet with Bonterra. <laughs> that's what they say. Um, but that's really cool. They've created um, carbon offsets from the vineyard to the shelf. It's not a commercial, they're not like, uh, I've never talked to them, but this is really cool. Anyway, I, I, we were delighted. It was a very reasonable price. I think it's like $12. Very, very reasonable, delicious, vanilla-y, um, perfect companion to my ukulele playing this evening. Um, let me know if you try it. Cheers. Ukulele wine time.